Well, good night. We are heading up to Redmond, Oregon. I guess we got a car fell off of a tow dolly and we got to go get it back on the dolly. Uh, these are always kind of fun and interesting because they're never the same. Some are super simple and some are just an absolute nightmare. It all depends on uh, what type of car it is and how it fell off and what got damaged when it did. So uh, we're gonna head up there, see what the situation is with this one. And as you can see, we are in Old Faithful, the uh, red tow truck, see, red. Uh, just because I wanted to drive it. So we're gonna take it. It's been sitting for a little too long, so it needs to get out and stretch its legs. But it is totally dark outside, so I'm not gonna film anything until we get there. So see you there. All right, we're in Redmond. So should be here right up by the KFC. And there it is. So let's go see what we got going on. Oh wow, sorry, I didn't realize that gimbal was all over the place. Okay, there it is. Um, I'm gonna go over on the other side, I think, and I'll try to, I'll pull the back end of your car over a little to get off this door. And then, uh, then I'll lift this and we'll back it off of there. We might be able to get it right back up onto it in place. But I'll pull your back end over to get off the door before we do anything. So um, I know it's not fun to get in right now, but uh, yeah. could you make sure that parking brake is set? Yeah, um, the, I put the put it, I put it in park. Yeah, but I want the parking brake set because that does the back wheels. And then I'll get positioned over here on the side. Okay, I just asked him to check in the parking brake and make sure it's set because I want the parking brake set so that the rear wheels stay locked up and slide instead of trying to roll either direction as I get over here. Luckily, there's a nice driveway right here and pull the back end of his car sideways to get it off of that door on that fender. And he just opened the passenger door, looked in, looked at me, goes, yep, parking brake set. I'm wondering how the parking brake was set if it was on a tow dolly, but who knows? All right, so we got rim sling hooked up here. This wheel's in place, so put the strap back on to tie it down. Car's in neutral, parking brake's on. So I'm gonna pull the back end sideways. This should stay here. The other one is on the jack here. And uh, jacked it up so it clears all this. And so as I pull the back end over, that tire should roll backwards right back into its spot and the parking brakes on so the car shouldn't roll away and it took the jack handle out so that if the jack tips over and kicks off it doesn't hit the car because you don't want any more scratches do you no i didn't think so all right let's uh you know hold this light or use yours either way and i'll uh Everything under here is good. And it should go right off of that and onto there. Not yet. It's, it's okay if it goes in crooked. We can straighten it out after. Let's make sure it's not going to hit the fender over here. Nope, we're good. There it is. So now you can get in, straighten the wheel, and if you want, we can unload it off the dolly and check this dolly out and make sure nothing's wrong with it. And if it's all good, we'll put it back on and uh, get it tied down good and everything. So uh, go ahead and hop in. Actually, it makes, we have any, oh. Ooh, I was gonna say, I saw that. I thought not too bad until I saw that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I, I just saw that at first and thought you got really, really lucky, but they got this whole rocker panel. Straight, turn your wheel my way. Towards me more, more, right there. Now back off slow and easy so you don't catch your front bumper on this on the way down. Yeah, right where you're at, just straight back.
Yep. You got that hump to go over and then you'll be on the brakes. There you go. Now ease off of it and come on down. Yep, keep your steering wheel right where it is. Yep. What about the other side? The other side's fine. Perfect. Okay, back up uh, right there is good. Let's take a look at this dolly. Oops. So, uh, yeah, they, this is your steering. That's why it has that slot right here. Yeah. Is that's all the steering you have, and they're they're limited like that on purpose because if you were turning any sharper, the fenders can go into the side of your car. So they have that limit. The problem is if you hit that limit and keep turning any sharper, it'll either skid the dolly tires, skid the car tires, or one of the straps will pop free, and then, well, you know what happens from there. The car will either jump off the back or over the front. Uh, but that is, that's what it's supposed to do right there, is do that part of it. Um, this is all, oh, it popped that piece out right there. It'll still work without that, uh, handle piece yeah go ahead and turn your lights on that one is okay yeah it's only that side working um, oh you pinch the wiring right here where the car landed right on the wires Okay, he's gonna turn around now uh, without the car on it, since that's what caused the car to, that right there is probably what caused the car to fall off. And then we're gonna load the car back up facing out. And I guess he's going to the hotel. It's just uh, that uh, green roof you see. Where is it at? Right there. So now we'll get him loaded back up. Let's uh, turn on our aux beam switch pod. Turn our cargo lights on and our backup lights so we can see what we're doing over here. Turn driver's side just a little bit and go ahead and come on up. Driver's side a little bit. Okay, straight. A little bit more. Okay, now you're going to drop down in and then you're good. Perfect. Go ahead and put it in park and leave the parking brake off. Okay. We've got wheel straps back on, ramps are up. Both bottom safety chains are on. I can't see because it's dark. Hitch is latched. Lights hooked up even though that one side doesn't work anymore. Safety cables are all good. So you are ready to go. And like I said, uh, put the call them and tell them that this will need to be swapped out in the morning. But like I said, luckily that big U-Haul is but pretty much the next thing after your hotel there. So in the morning, that'll be super easy to go get swapped out. But uh, other than that, you're all good for now. So, all right, and he's off. Like I said, he's going to the hotel right there for the night. And just on the other side of that is the, uh, the big U-Haul in town. So as you can see, the dolly light on this side is not working because the wiring got smashed and the ratchet handle, the little handheld part popped off um not a big deal at all as far as function of the ratchet but it's not correct so it needs to be changed out for one that is so he can go right down there to the hotel tonight i will call u-haul and let them know in the morning they need to swap that out but for now we'll get oh remote turned off um get our winch pulled back in And then uh, get our jack and all that put away and go home. I think it's like 10 o'clock at night now or something like that. Perfect. All right, well, we're all loaded back up and headed home. It is... Oh, 1015. So that didn't take too long at all. I don't know where that classifies as a winch out, a recovery. A, uh, I pulled on a car and made it go where it's supposed to go. I don't know. 
what you want to call that but we got it done we didn't cause any additional damage which is the goal and uh, he is headed to the hotel he's not super stoked about the way the bottom of his car looks but uh, I don't think he'll be taking too many more sharp turns on the rest of this trip after that so uh, this happens kind of fairly often with any of those type of tow dollies as people turn too sharp and pop the car out of them they don't have much turn to them so if you're using one of those be careful watch really close don't turn sharp but that is it for this video uh finally got the red truck back out doing something and uh wait don't go anywhere yet <laughs> i just stopped here to get some fuel because getting fuel is what we do when we drive the red truck not because it gets any sort of bad mileage it actually gets really, really good mileage it just has a tiny little fuel tank on it uh but anyway i was stopping here to get fuel and my phone rang it's the same guy he pulled into the hotel and he pulled into i guess a dead end or something he can't get back out so he says uh my car is about to fall off again because i turned too sharp so i need you to come back so we are running over to the hotel to help him out again yep that's what we're doing yep i see him right there with his flashers on at the dead end so well he made this sharp turn but he pulled into a dead end we're here Yeah. Well, let's go take a look. That was two, turns right there. two sharp right turns. Yeah. yeah. And look at this. On the left side, and I didn't go all the way. It's going to hit again. Let's. Uh... Does this dead end, or does it go somewhere down there? Yeah, but does it go to somewhere you can turn around or is it just a tiny little turnaround? You said a tiny turnaround. Oh, well, you don't want to go down there that's anyway. Like, that's about, uh, you continue making this turn and I'll watch it. And then we'll go down there and uh, you'll go to the left and go around to the right and I'll watch it while you make the turns and make sure you're... If it hits again, it's not going to be my fault. Well, I don't like to Well, what do you want to do? Want to unload it here? Yeah. We, we can unload it here and then uh, go park. Well, if you want to do that, you want to unload it here. You can go park your truck in the dolly down here on the side behind that big truck. Long ways and then park your car wherever. So we can do that. So since you're a little crooked on the dolly right now, Turn your wheel to the passenger side just a bit. Passenger side. A little more. Because I don't want your front end to swing over and hit the fender on the other side. So you want to cheat it to this side. Okay, right there. Okay. Right there. Yep. Back straight up. You're all right. So leave it like straight? Yeah, leave it straight for now until you get on top of the hump. A little more. It's okay. Keep going. A little more. A little bit more. All right, stop there. Now turn to the driver's side. A little bit more. Right there. Now back up slow. We want to watch this fender. Go ahead. Keep going. You're good. All right, yep. Keep it, your wheel right how it is and back up. Driver's side. Okay, perfect. Now go all the way down right there. Easy. Yep, you're good. That's the mark right there where it was resting on the sidewall. There's no sidewall damage. 
Turn your wheel back straight some. Yeah, but there's no sidewall damage. Because that, that mark right there is where it was sitting on that, on the ratchet when you went over the edge. There is no sidewall damage. Nope. I mean, you might have had a nail or something else happen to it, but there's no sidewall damage. All right, uh, you can go ahead and take this. I'd say park it. So I'm gonna stay with it tonight? Yeah. Yeah, because there's nothing we can do with it right now. Yeah. Okay, well, I think uh, you should be all set from here. Thank you. Okay, have a good one. All right, let's get out of here again. Now, let's see if this car behind us is going to back up. Fine, we'll back around you. Don't worry. Don't honk at me. You're the one in the way. <laughs> okay, we are turned around and now heading home, hopefully, uh, again. And hopefully he doesn't uh, try turning that dolly around somewhere he shouldn't again. And I'm not sure if he was trying to blame me for damaging his tire there, but there was zero sidewall damage and the whole things on film so there's no blaming me for that i don't know why his tires low uh anyway that is someone who probably should not be pulling a dolly and uh hopefully he's done with it for a while and uh try something different but uh either way i'm going home he needs to go to bed and uh we'll see if when i get up in the morning i get a call to come get this thing out of the hotel parking lot again because that would just be really funny so now it's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one with the little plot twist there at the end. And we will see you guys next time again.